Yes, play. Wait for the trigger. First forward pass. First forward pass. There he is. Go on in. Good. Hold. Fantastic play. I love that. The next session, uh, as a general overview, what we're coaching is that ability to break down an opposition in a low block. Statistically, we talk about upgrading crosses, so we're going to do a little presentation with the lads first and foremost. I think they've been struggling a little bit for scoring goals, so the ability to break down um, an opponent and deliver crosses and through balls and passes and cutbacks from better zones. So sometimes teams will just lump it into the box because they feel like they're in an area uh, to cross it. But this team in particular doesn't have a big centre forward that can act as uh, a sort of target man to knock down for other players. So it's very important that they understand which zones to try and penetrate and infiltrate as quickly and as slickly as possible. Go on, Go on then, don't let him out. Good. Now can we play? Open up. Give the depth. Good. Good shoulders. It's a bad ball. Go on and win it. Play forward. Can you score? Tuck it in. Unlucky, unlucky. Unlucky. Hey, Reds, well done. Won the ball there. Instinctively, that's why you're in that position to be able to play forward. Go on then. Get at him, Hohoi. Good. React, pick up the seconds. Get tight, don't let him out, don't let him out. Good boy. Good, patience now, patience. Hit the zones. Oh, unlucky guys, unlucky. Unlucky, hey, good, good non-verbal communication there. The point and the run was excellent. Gave him the opportunity to play you. There was nobody wide, he decided to deliver, but it was your run that created the space, so well done. Okay, we're gonna react off this. Big man, come and win it. Good, tidy up. Good, brilliant pass, what a pass. There's De Bruyne, can we finish? Oh, react, react. Hey, brilliant play, unlucky, but what did we do wrong, Yellers? Hey, tell me, what did we do wrong? Do you know? There was no protection. So in a real game, obviously with a whole half a pitch to be able to play, it's really important that you as the number six organise, all right? We had the right back there, could have closed him out. You could have still advanced, but on the back of security, when we're on the ball, all right? So it's really important that we communicate. We talked about honking behind the ball and all that is is a communication trigger. What a fantastic run into that zone. Great ball and unlucky with the delivery could have scored. All right, we're gonna shut this one down. Go on then, pressure, pressure. Good, good. Go on, you can make the box. Make sure. Yeah, we shield that one. I think they felt a little bit more comfortable, the, the lads, with, with a bit of opposition. And uh, the frenzy were, went really well. I thought the, the sort of attention to detail that they had taken in and that they administered within that was very, very good. In terms of the quality, like, it's something that the coach and the players have, have admitted that they need to work on and improve. But I think they got the sense of it. They got the ideas. They were trying to make penetrative runs into those zones and trying to deliver. Uh, couldn't quite execute from across, but at the same time, the principles were there. They understood them and I think they enjoyed the session. Good, go on in, press him, press, press, press. Good boys, well done. To try and get these young lads to be relative and to be match relative, it means that you've constantly got to manage the team that you're not coaching um, and manage where they are, where they move 
in terms of the attacking phase of play, sometimes the lads get sucked in to only thinking of, of playing in an attacking sense. And obviously <laughs> you've got to keep it relative. So therefore to make sure the number six, the centre half, the full backs um, were not just an option or if they couldn't be an option in terms of being a free player for a pass that they acted as protection and gave us that balance behind the ball to give us that bit of security to then go and frenzy quickly. It's important that the centre half, deep line midfielder stay relative. You've got a centre forward here that's on the side in his own half. So it's got to be realistic. We've got to give that balance behind the ball. If you're not an option, you're protection. OK, get ready to press this one. Come narrow, come narrow. Go on then, press him. Sometimes you can be left without enough equipment and we had to go a little bit ad hoc uh, to keep everybody involved towards the end. And uh, one orange player was playing for the attacking side and one orange player was playing for the defensive side. And that's sometimes what you've got to cope with at the lower levels because you can't always have professional grade equipment. And uh, yeah, we knew what we were doing and the players knew what they were doing. So uh, hopefully that will come across. For access to the full course and more exclusive coaching content, sign up for your free trial today at academy.coachesvoice.com.